everyone. Okay, I started my Facebook live really early today because you know what? Because I was like filming these um, training videos that I always, I told you guys that I always wanted to film the training videos, right? So what happened today is that I started uh, filming since like 30 minutes ago. And I had to, you know, being a female is so, so difficult. We have to like really make up, do our hair, do our eye, do our eyebrow and everything just to wear nicely in order to do the training video. So with that, that's the reason why I want to do this live earlier so that I can actually show you my best, all right? Okay, so basically what are the topics that we are going to explore today? We, I actually personally explored this topic before, but because today I received about four to five friends, Facebook friends, actually asked me about this. That's why I want to share this. Okay, a lot of them, they face this issue. Firstly, um, they asked about Facebook ads. So they asked me whether, Jun, can you help me to do my Facebook ads for you? All right. And then secondly, they do not know where to kickstart. Okay. This is the thing. You can have the best funnel in the world, right? If let's say you do not send traffic to a funnel, it doesn't make sense. So there are two ways to send traffic to a funnel. One is the paid way. One is the attraction marketing and organic way. Okay. So if let's say your funnel is just started to set up and then you set up entirely as a beginner, this is my suggestion and my advice that you start with organic uh, leads first. All right. Why should we start with organic way is because uh, when we starting with organic way, right? It forces to actually really go and understand our dream client. Okay. What does your dream client has? Okay. For me, I define this dream client has two criteria and then they must satisfy these two criteria at the same time, right? One, your dream client must have a problem. Okay. You can't help people who doesn't have a problem. Does it make sense? And then you can't help people who don't want to be helped. All right. This is the first criteria. The your um, dream client must have a problem. Secondly, your dream client must have the money. All right. So these two conditions must happen at the same time because if let's say your dream, uh, your, your, you saw a prospect, they have a problem, they do not have money, it means that they don't have the money to pay you to solve their problem. Does it make sense? Or if let's say someone has the money, but they just simply do not have the problem, they are just not going to buy your product. That's why this is a most basic concept I always tell people. It's just like, if let's say I'm the best doctor in town, if let's say you are not coughing, I can't sell the best medicine, coughing medicine to you. You just won't buy because you don't have the problem. Does it make sense? Okay, so knowing your dream client is so important because imagine you are Facebook. There are so many different audiences in Facebook. How are you going to target them when you do not know who is your dream client? When you do not know your dream client will like what kind of page, will follow what kind of uh, what kind of uh, influencer, will will be in which geographic area, will be in which kind of age, what kind of occupation they are. It is literally impossible for you to actually target your dream client with Facebook ads. Okay, I, I, what, what I would say that um, it's always very, you need to be very clear of your dream client, that's one. Unless you, you tell me, June, I want to accelerate this, I'm all right to actually spend my money even though I don't get any returns. Then I said, by all means, go ahead. But if let's say you are just starting out, you want to actually uh, keep your budget low, keep your capital low, make sure you know your dream client, go for organic way. So this is my advice. How do you exactly go for the organic way? So hi, Joe. Nice to hear from you. Okay, so basically the organic way, this is my steps, right? When I first started like two and a half months ago, I don't know what to do. So what I generally do is that I read a lot of books. I have like maybe 100 books in my bookshelf. So what I did is that every day I pick a book to talk about this. It's either video or it's either written content. Not only I put it in my profile, I also put this very valuable content into the groups where I suspect where my dream client will be. That's why I will always start with the groups, right? Facebook groups, just to think about, okay, if let's say your, your dream client is women entrepreneur, very easy. You just go and look up for a Facebook group that has a lot of women entrepreneur gathering. If let's say your target clients, they always like to use like email software. So just go to the email software support group, right? Just to reach out to them and then to teach them things. Okay, then the next question people will always ask me, but then Jun, I'm not an expert. What kind of things that I should teach them? Okay, it's very, very simple. Like if let's say you want to help them, let's say you are a social media agency, right? So obviously you help people to do like Facebook ads, Instagram ads, like social media management. Of course you want to teach something that will benefit to your client. Like you can teach them how to set it up Facebook ads, right? Okay, some people will say, but if let's say I teach them, does 
does it mean that they don't need my service at all? Definitely no. Because when you teach people like really good stuff, you, you don't have to teach the entire thing. You teach them just the beginning, right? But then at the end, you tell them, hey, you know what? It's a lot of work to be done. If let's say you really want to kill that and I want to save your time and effort, if let's say you just want to save your time and effort, you can just reach out to me. Does it make sense? So whenever we present a solution to people, right? This is how we do it. Every problem, there must be a solution. But when you give the solutions through your written content or through your value content, you do not give the entire formula. You just you just give them the idea, hey, you know what? This is roughly the solution that you have. But if let's say you need someone to set it up for you, you can actually hire me. So these are actually all this information that will actually suggest you to go ahead. And everything takes about consistency. Do not just go and post uh, one day, second day, you do not post because you need, to, you need people in the groups to see you always every day that's how they are able to actually see you and realize you yep so these are the things that i would love to share with you that's the organic so when you actually reach out and give valuable contents to the group people will automatically reach out to you automatically that's the reason why we are talking about attraction marketing we kind of like attract people to come to us Right? Does it make sense? Attract people to come to us and people whom you are attracted, it's much easier to close because after you attract people, the leads to come to you, last thing that you need to do is only to close them. Like literally, before I learn about this closing skill, right? Maybe my closing my closing rate is about 10%, but after I apply what I'm teaching, what, what I learned from a mentor and what I'm teaching is that I increase my sales conversion from 10% to like 30 to 40%. So there are only two parts in the sales process. First, how you attract the leads. That is true organic way. Second, how you actually close them. So both are very essential. So if let's say you really think that this video is helpful, I actually implemented to all, only half of the strategies in my newly book that is called Client Magnet Machine. I'm going to put uh, put a link down below. Um, so in this Client Magnet Machine, it's actually a blueprint. Uh, it's about 82 pages of blueprint, which I just launched Monday, right? So in this blueprint, we are going to give you some ideas how you, get, you can actually structure your um, social media profile. It can be your Facebook, it can be your LinkedIn, or it can be even your Instagram profile. Structure it so nice imagine this if let's say you want to have an organic way you must have a really good resume your profile is actually just your resume so after you have a killer resume right then the next thing that you need to do is just to attract the right people from all over in Facebook just just go to look for a dream client give them values and then they'll ultimately land on your Facebook profile which is a killer resume and that's where they'll reach out to you so all you have to do is only to close them all right, does it make sense? So if let's say you really want to get the book right, it's over down here. I will put it in the first link down below. It's called Client Magnet Machine Blueprint. It's only $7. Okay, seriously, what can you do with $7? You can actually drink two Starbucks. Is it one Starbucks or two Starbucks? I'm not so sure. You can actually eat McDonald's. You can actually buy a book. But what if this $7 that you invest with me today can actually bring you even more businesses that you ever dream of? Isn't it cool? So let's jump down to the link below and feel free to shoot me a PM uh, to PM me if let's say you have any questions regarding this book or li literally regarding anything. I'm very good in uh, leads generation and sales closing. So actually, I, I really love psychology very much. That's why in every sales scenario, I've sold a lot of stuff. I sold accessories, I sold software, I sold like really in a very targeted niche. I help, I help um, some of the industry leaders to actually close sales as well. So this is what I'm good at. I'm very happy to actually to have you reach out to me and jump on a call with me. Alright, so that's it with my sharing today. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.